it's really fast though for its size. Hey guys, welcome back to Ever RC. Thank you everyone for following the channel all this while. And today the video is about these two products here. The SG1603 and SG1604 from Pinecoon model. Pinecoon model is actually the brand. And the second thing is we will be selling this directly to you guys from factory as well. So as you know, the special thing about WPRC store is the customer service and the after sales support. One of the reasons we carry this is also because not only that is fun, but uh, we are pretty close with the, the owner of this brand as well. So in case there is any issue, uh, you can uh, check out with us. We will try to help you to deal it with the factory. So this new second store will be called Asia RC Depot and then it will start uh, after Chinese New Year as we are still sorting out a lot of things for the WPRC official store. But we will be doing a pirate run from the WPRC official store first uh, with a limited unit of this. And this is the first time I have seen it and so today I'm going to find out uh, what is this all about? Why so fun it is? And uh, everyone is raving about on um, these two models. And I'm going to try to find out also what's the difference between this model. Is it just the difference on the body or is there a difference on the hardware or what? So, so let's unbox both of them. Okay, so which is which? This is SG1604. That is 1603. That looks like a mini. Ama infection. So now I have got a mini Ama infection that I can afford but in a smaller size. Okay, now let's unbox the uh, 1603 first. Oh yeah. Wow, that looks... <laughs> this is the first time I unbox and look at it. This looks really damn amazing, man. Looks so good. Wow, this is a really nice mini Ama infection. Then next, 1604. Wow, this looks like a classic, like a classic sand racer. So it looks like both of them have the same content inside. The car itself, the remote, there's drift tires and also chargers inside. Spanner, screwdriver and a body clip and also spare link rod. It's the same as well for the 1604. So the remote, there's this ESP controls here. This I believe is to control your gyro gain to uh, ensure a car goes straight or not. Steering trim for a left right alignment. Steering dual red, this is for uh, the angle for for both sides, for left and right, throttle reverse and steering reverse, this is quite standard. This I believe is for the light change and uh, channel 3, this is for what you're gonna find out later. Feels pretty nice. Are they the same chassis, same performance, same electronics and uh, hardware? Oops. This one has more connectors here, one for the front, one for the rear, diffuser like So SG1603, SG1604, they look the same to me Alright, tell me if you can see any difference other than the rear diffuser So the 1603 has a rear diffuser, this one has a normal one They look the same to me, so I believe they are just uh, different body shell Just visual difference, but performance wise, they should be the same So let's just check out one of these All 4 wheel has uh, rather sticky soft tyres for straight line or for cornering then the front, there's this, I don't think this is an oil shock because it's pretty smooth, but let's find out. So metal drive shaft at the front, and metal drive shaft at the rear as well, or you call them dog bone. Then uh, metal center shaft. I think this maybe is, this is a 4, 430 size brush motor. Then a battery, lithium ion, 1200 milliamp at a 2 cell. This should be the all-in-one. A receiver and uh, ESC together with a built-in gyro. This is the servo drivetrain. I think, I think it's fine as well. I'm not sure whether the diff inside is metal or not. Loaded four air batteries. Some really good ones. Turn it on. So like blinking. Yep, so now TX is blinking, but RX on solid green. Plug this in. Yeah, there's a button here indicating power. Yep, so now it's turned on. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my uh, steering trim. So it looks like after it's bound to the car, then the TX will stop blinking. So let's adjust. All right, then power. Quite powerful, but uh, I think just nice, it's fine. Get it fully charged before the full test. If I have the ESP turned to clockwise, as you throttle, you can see the gyro is working to, uh, to make sure that your steering is straight. Okay. You can see that. Well, when it's not moving, then the gyro doesn't work. If I turn it down to counterclockwise, then as I throttle, 
there's no uh, ESP, there's no steering assist. There's also drift tyres, really solid one. While waiting for the battery to charge, I'm gonna swap these tyres to the drift one using the spanner that came with it. Really? Oops. Oh, miniature brake discs that act as a wheel adapter, the hex wheel adapter. I should mention that uh, there's a very good manual as well, very detailed one in uh, Chinese and in English. There's so many pages, so I think they really care about uh, explaining to you about their car. So there's also a part list. So let us know whether you want us to carry these parts or not, especially the arms. So it tells you how to install as well, which part goes to where. So I think it's something good to learn, see how it's assembled. And the operation, so how to use the ESP, and explanation. It's a good morning here, so I have two of them here with just one remote because they are basically the same car. So I had the SG1603 with the same tyres, the rubber tyres that came with it, and the SG04 I had the drift tyre change. Let's find out what's the difference like. Try our famous mini ama infraction. That's pretty fast. Also, yeah, the remote here, the controls. This one is for changing the different light settings. You can see there. Right, that's very cool. Then channel three is to turn on and off the, the headlight. So even without ESP, it's, it's quite controllable. Now we turn the ESP to slightly over middle. Okay, you can feel that. You can feel that it's definitely more stable at straight. You now turn it to uh, what almost like a quarter to uh, to full. Even better. Uh, turn it to maximum but I think the, the vibration the bouncing of it doesn't really help with the gyro uh, assisting it properly so it's even more gra aggressive now uh, uh, it's trying to keep it straight but because of the body bouncing so the steering wiggling so that's too high of a gyro so another way to tell if your gyro is working or not let go is it counter zero let go why not just throw it around oops so just work even on a, on a grass surface off-road but oh now just bottom out oops. i thought you're driving pretty fast this one <laughs> it's too low it's not really suitable for off-roading but still does really well fast and you now it's bottom up again it's without ESP it's, it's really fast though for its size Right now we are switching over to SG1604 Those numbering are really hard to remember uh, This is one with uh, drift tyres and see how it drifts or performs And uh, we have, let's just turn off the gyro stabilization or the ESP uh, to minimum <laughs> I think, wow, okay It's a lot more fun now on a rougher surface because I tried this at home and it was too slippery it is. Well, I think I. It's probably more fun than the car just now. Woo! My God, this is. I'm serious. This is. This is damn fun, man. So probably I'll make the Ama infection a drift one instead. This is really cool. So both of this car, SG uh, 1603 and 1604, both of them came with uh, 
the the well, the rubber tires installed, but it comes with a set of spare of these uh, drift tires. Look at that. Ooh. How about we turn the gyro to to minimum minimum assist? The center. Oh yeah, now it under here. We have to reflect it. Hmm. Now it doesn't drift as much unless you just flick the tail out. Now increase further a quarter. Uh, now it understeers even more. Oops. Up, so it keeps understeering. Now turn it to maximum. I think it will be even harder to drift with uh, ESP. So if you want to drift, you need to turn off the ESP. See, it just keep understeering by itself. But let's see what kind of fun we can get out of, out of this with uh, ESP turned on on the uh, drift tires. So just, just try to go straight. Maybe someone will like it, but I, you know, I, I can drift, do RC drift, but I, I, I think I, I don't really want ESP on, on drift mode. So now let's turn it off again and try. Uh, now that's, that's, that's how it should be. B as a drift car on four wheels. I can easily flick the tail out. I wanted to test the top speed of this, but it looks like my Sky RC speed checker has run out of battery. But I think Top Lay has done a speed check and uh, shows, uh, I think, 30 km power, like it's advertised. So that's the review of these two new, very fun, very cool 116 RC car that can uh, go fast and go drifting as well. And uh, now we are doing pilot run on uh, WPRC official store. After Chinese New Year, we'll move over to Asia RC Depot. Now we have limited units. You can get them now. And thank you everyone for your support. I'll see you at the store. And next video, please subscribe if you have not done so. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! By the way, get the merch if you have not done so. This is a D12 t-shirt. Oops.